Hi guys, this is going to be my review on the Precious Minerals BB Cream in the color W24. So I hope you guys find this helpful. I'd also like to say thank you for those who requested it. Woohoo! High fives for you guys! So yeah. So last time I started off my review with a little description of my skin type. So I will do that again in case you guys didn't see my Skin Food BB Cream review. Which you can if you click on my hand. So my skin type is acne prone, really oily, it's sensitive, and it's also really dry at the same time. So that's what I'm going to be basing my review on, my skin personally. So here's what the box looks like. It is by the Korean brand Etude House, which happens to be one of my all-time favorite Korean brands. This bottle contains 60 grams of product, and it's pretty good size. So I think it's a pretty good deal. I'm not sure what the price is. I think it's around $15 and under. I think. I'm not sure. I actually won this from a video contest. So I'm going to read you the claims of this BB cream. It says that this Precious Minerals BB cream promotes silky complexion with pearl-infused sheer coverage. It contains satisonine? An arbutin for anti-wrinkling and whitening efficacies, efficacies? SPF for UV protection. This BB cream does have SPF 30 PA++, which will protect your skin from the sun, which is really good. And I think that SPF really contributes to their three claims, which is whitening, anti-wrinkle, and anti-darkening. So we all know that SPF helps protect our skin from the sun and that will also prevent your scars from getting darker and it also prevents premature aging or help to prevent premature aging and also anti-darkening. You probably will get tanner slower when you're wearing SPF or maybe not at all, it depends on your skin. The pump isn't really controllable but you get a pretty good amount of product and here it is, honey beige. And here's the Misha one in honey beige which is number 27. In their perfect cover line looks like that so you can see that the Misha one is more golden and yellow undertone whereas the Etude House one is more beige and neutral undertone. The Misha BB cream has a dewy finish and it's really 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 light it doesn't feel heavy or anything and it blends really easily as you can see voila being super oily, I definitely don't look for dewy BB creams, but I really do like this because it makes your skin look really healthy and glowy. So what I do to combat the shiny and dewiness is I use my Urban Decay D Slick Oil Control Setting Spray and I just apply it before and after and it does help. And of course, I can't do it without my oil blotting sheets. Oh, the color is perfect for my skin tone. It blends in perfectly. I don't have to mix it. I don't have to do anything. It just matches me perfectly. As for the coverage, I think the coverage is really, really buildable. I would say that it's medium to full coverage. Um, I was really pleasantly surprised. I really wasn't expecting much from this BB cream in terms of um, coverage. So I will show you guys in the demo here how well it does in covering my redness, my scars, my discolorations, and stuff like that. So let's go! So all in all, I really do like this BB cream. I was really pleasantly surprised. Uh, I read a few reviews that it broke some people out, so I'm really glad that it hasn't broken me out. Usually I would have broken out by like the third day of using it, so yay! I really like the coverage. I like how it's a dewy finish, but I can just, you know, counteract some of that dewiness with my oil setting spray. And I bet if you had a mattifying powder or something like that, it would be perfect. But I am on the hunt for one of those, so if you guys have any suggestions, Leave it down below, please. Uh, the lasting power is pretty good. It does wear off after like 9 to 10 hours, but that's pretty good because I don't use a powder. I just use this, my setting spray. And yeah, so I think it does really well. Um, it holds up really well. It doesn't break apart or like, you know, like I was talking about my other review. It gets all gross and 
PC and scaly. I like how it does have SPF, but of course I can't use it when I take pictures because you get a white cast. Things that I don't like, uh, it's another product that I will have to buy online. I can't buy it at the store, but it's okay because it's okay. Because <laughs> I love that two dollars. <laughs> And another con is probably that it doesn't con help you control your oils at all. It kind of makes it worse. It makes you look really, really shiny. But it's okay. This comes to my rescue. Hopefully it works out for you guys too if you do try it out. And if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, requests, anything like that, leave it down below and let me know because I always check the comments. Hope you guys liked this video and if you did you know where the button is and you know where the subscribe button is i think it's down here or down here i don't know somewhere here so don't forget to click on that for more reviews and stuff like that as you guys can probably tell i really like korean brands and asian brands so if you're interested you'll probably see more videos like that from me so thanks for watching guys bye so yeah